Yes, thanks Deborah. It, the Harrington Seed Destructor is based on a, a mill that processes the chaff material during harvest. Now the idea of processing this chaff material is that the chaff material typically ca contains all the weed seeds that have been collected by the harvester during the harvest operation. So in processing that chaff material, it destroys those weed seeds before spreading the material back onto the, the field. Now Ray came up with the idea, he developed the initial prototype, um, it then went into commercial production and it is, the, the system although essentially or fundamentally is the same, um, but there have been some engineering modifications around how material is transferred from the harvester uh, into the mill and also how the straw material is delivered underneath the, the mill and the motor system out the back of the, the seed destructor. So the idea is another Yeah, very much so. It's a, it's a non-chemical control technique um, and is a very much a mechanical system. So it, uh, it's using machines to kill weed seeds, something that we don't do enough of. When Ray developed it, it was a mechanical model. The new one is hydraulic. Um, what's the horsepower required for these units? Uh, yeah, they, they are big systems and they do require quite a bit of engine grunt. So, Typically you need 200 horsepower to drive the whole system, so that's to drive the mill, to drive the transfer systems, as well as to drive the, the essential cooling fans and so forth, so uh, it's a big machine. Is there a lot of maintenance required? Um, hopefully no, <laughs> um, but yeah look it's another machine and as we say machines never fail to let you down so there will always be maintenance needs on these systems. Um, but. It's still very much in the development phases in terms of a commercially operating system, so as time goes on, the maintenance requirements, we believe, will become a lot less. You're selling some in Australia now, is that right? Uh, yeah, that's right, Deborah. They are now commercially available since 2012. Um, to date, there's only been about four units purchased, as well as the two units that Ray Harrington himself has in operation. So, um, so because it's in that development stage still, growers are still looking over the fence just to see whether it is something that they can use and just what are the issues that have uh, gone on with this system. So, uh, yeah, look, we had a very good harvest this last harvest with the machines that were in operation. So we think that, um, well, an indication is that there's a number of orders now that have subsequently gone in to the manufacturers and so it's looking very promising from here on in for the, the sale of these units. We'll talk a little bit about cost and then why So the overall cost, the initial cost is around about $200,000 um, and that includes fitting to the back of the harvester. There's a little bit of work required in actually getting the machine attached to the harvester. Um, the running costs are actually quite low. They are primarily just the cost of running the motor. So once you've got that initial startup cost, it's just the low running cost as well as some maintenance costs. Now we believe that it's, the running costs are about four to six dollars a hectare based on fuel use and on some maintenance costs. Because it's a new system we don't really know what the, the long-term average annual maintenance cost is going to be. That's, that's something that we won't know until the systems have been in use for a decade or so. What are some of the results you've seen in weed populations? Um, yeah well again the uh, we know that conclusively that it does destroy the weed seeds that are present in the chaff fraction does consistently kill those seeds um, during the harvest operation. We get in excess of 95% kill um, during, during a routine harvest. Um, the long-term impact is that you do get declines in weed populations in your fields. Um, because not all the weed seeds enter the harvester during the harvest operation, some escape. Uh, so the, the Harrington Seed Destructor doesn't see the total seed production. So that's why we don't get 9% total weed control. Uh, we're getting in the order of around about 60% reductions annually in the weed population. How long do we see a uh, Harrington Seed Destructor in Canada? Um, as soon as April this year. Um, there has been one ordered by uh, the guys in, with Ag Canada. Um, that is essentially going to be delivered prior to wheat harvest starting in the uh, eastern part of Canada. Uh, and where it will be essentially used as a research 
uh, piece of equipment initially. Uh, research and demonstration, I'd imagine. Thank you so much, Michael. No worries, Deborah.